Hey everyone, welcome back to the uh, mansion. Okay, so uh, first thing, uh, if you talk to Toad here, he's just a save point basically. Uh, whenever you find Toads throughout the mansion, that's basically just what they do, they save your game. Here, first instance of some actual money we can collect. Uh, you can use the vacuum to get it towards us. Check these things because sometimes there's some money here, but... Uh, also, there's some in this fan up here. Well, not really fan, but... Yeah, you should always check the um, fixings on the ceilings, because they tend to have stuff in them. Um... What else? I thought I was going to say something. Oh yeah, um, in the last episode, Igad told us we could press Z and we can see what we've collected. Um, and these various um, boxes will get filled in as we go throughout the game and discover more collectible items. But for now, um, we're just going to go through... What's wrong with my camera? Ah, there we go. We're just going to go through the double doors here into the next room. Okay, so basically there's going to be no ghosts uh, spawning here at the moment until we um, take out these candles up here. Uh, then we'll get a cutscene. First thing we want to do though, before we do that, is check everything, get all the money in here. Nothing in there. Oh, one I missed. Me. Oh shit. <laughs> that was just bad. <laughs> I put them all out at once. That doesn't normally happen. They're not normally that sensitive. Oh crap, did I lose all of that money? I did. Okay, what I'm gonna do... Quit without saving and then um, we'll be able to respawn that, so I'll, I'll get that money back. I know it's a bit cheap, but whatever. Oh, come on! I've gotta sit through all that again? Ah. Oh. Oh well. Right, now let's do this properly. Nothing in there. Like it. Now we just have to use the vacuum cleaner to get rid of all those. up with these guys noses right exactly the same principle as in the ghost training room uh, but they can hurt you as I said and they'll respawn if you just do that and I'll come back in a minute like that that one I did by accident Thank <laughs> you. 
these are health replens, obviously. Oh, one thing you might notice about these ghosts, and this is with all the ghosts in the game. Uh, well, you can't see it now, but um, they make a sort of ring shape on the floor. I thought that was a really nice detail. Okay, so yeah, most of the time when you clear on a room, you'll get uh, a treasure chest, which will have a key in it. Uh, some of them don't, some of them have other things, but uh, mostly it'll be a key. Crap. Honey! Got all that. Let's take care of this guy. Now these um, sort of orangish coloured ones, they're called go golden ghosts. Um, here's a different type of ghost. Uh, oh god, what's this one called? I think they're... Crap, I can't remember. Um, look it up on the wiki or something. Having two at a time is a pain to deal with because that one will try to hurt you while you're trying to get. And also, the other thing that really um, annoys me about this game is when you get hurt, you lose coins. So you actually lose gold for getting hurt. Money, 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 money. Uh, fortunately, you don't lose any of uh, the other currencies, and it's actually possible to get uh, 100 million gold, which is 100% in the US version, uh, without getting any coins at all in the mansion, so... Um, I used to get really wound up about losing coins. I'd reset if I uh, lost a certain number of them. Uh, but actually, it doesn't matter that much, so I'm probably not going to be too... I'm tight about that. Anyway, uh, what you want to do before going into this next room here, which um, you notice we didn't get a treasure chest this door, it's just automatically open. Uh, what we want to do first is go back and save, and there's a reason for that I'll explain in a sec. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, now when we go into this uh, next room, you see these cupboards at the back, you don't want to touch a single one of them. Oh, shit. There's another octogram on the floor here. Yeah, these big um, green ones, they have a lot more health. I think they have the most health of all the standard ghosts. It's probably actually best to take care of the golden ghosts first, because they'll actually go out of their way to attack you. Uh, the green ones, they're called garbage can ghosts. What they basically just do is uh, drop banana skins which you slip on and that hurts you. That's it. Like that. Uh, so I think we've got to the point, yeah, at a certain point, um, you won't spawn any more ghosts. The next ghost is a golden ghost. It's hidden in this cupboard, so you have to open it. Before you do that, um, just check this quickly. Oh, well, that's handy, but that's not what I was after. Come here. Okay, first thing you want to do is open this. Get all of that stuff. Now, uh, in this cupboard is a speedy spirit. This is a, a special kind of ghost. It looks like uh, one of the golden ghosts, uh, except it's blue. 
and basically um, when you get them um, they will drop money all over the place um, and this is the reason that we went back and saved because if you lose they'll basically um, go around the room and they'll be really hard to get but um, if you lose it then it's gone forever basically and also you have to get it before um, the light comes on in the room so if the light comes on in the room then it's also uh, lost forever uh, so the reason I waited until this point is that we won't get interrupted by any other ghosts because it's stuck in there so uh, <coughs> <coughs> uh, what I want to do is go up to this thing here point the control stick upwards uh, and then open it lots of money like that so getting um, these guys is basically essential to getting um, lots of treasure which you need for um, the highest rankings in the game I'll just do this one Now we don't get a, uh, a chest in here, but the key spawns up here for some reason. And so that, as we can sort of see, unlocks that door that was um, locked earlier that we couldn't go through. And if we just go through here, um, there's a toad here, safe point. Uh, what you want to remember here is that there's these plants. They'll be important for later. Anytime you see a plant, remember where it is because it's important. Anyway. Um, if you're wondering why it's bright in here, um, the way to get the light switched on is to talk to the uh, save point toad there. But uh, in the meantime, we'll be going this way. So that's a little bit of a prelude to what will uh, be happening in this next section. Uh, I think we'll go and uh, tackle that in the next episode then. So I'll uh, see you then.